Hey guys, Chris Meets with Icon Ecom here. Today I want to take a minute and go over how to set up calculated shipping with our eBay integration. Uh, so one of the nice things with eBay, when we push a listing over to eBay for you, we will automatically set up the shipping policies for you uh, to utilize calculated shipping. So uh, depending on the weight of the item, um, it'll use either a USPS uh, priority shipping policy. If the item is over a pound, if it's under a pound, then it'll use the uh, first class shipping policy. So you may have two different shipping policies in here, one for priority and one for first class. Um, by default, this is only going to be set up for US based shipping. If you also want to offer international shipping, you're going to want to come in here and edit these two shipping profiles to add that to it. So you'll just come in here and click on the shipping profile that you want to edit. Um, this top part, you can leave the same um, as the, the either priority or first class option. And then what you're gonna wanna do is come down here to international shipping and turn on the calculated rates for international. Under ship two, you can set worldwide and under services, you're gonna wanna use USPS priority mail international. Uh, keep in mind that international shipping can get rather expensive, so you may want to add a handling cost um, to that to make sure that you are uh, completely covered on any international shipping rates. Um, you can also do this, by the way, on uh, you know, the U.S.-based uh, calculated rates as well if you want to add a little bit to that um, so you have a little bit more of a buffer. The calculated rates that you charge your customer won't be 100% the exact same rates that we invoice you. Uh, this is because the calculated rate that your customer is being charged is going to be based off directly inside of eBay's system and eBay's shipping discounts. Uh, whereas what we invoice you is going to be our actual cost for shipping. Um, so there can be a little bit of a difference there. It's usually pretty close. But if you want to make sure that you're covered there, you can always add a buck or two to the uh, to the handling cost um, if your margins require it. One other thing to keep in mind when we're talking about shipping is that eBay only has one location that we can enter a shipping policy per listing and also only one location that we can enter shipping weight. So if you are listing a product that has different shipping weight by size, for example, our coffee mugs, the 15 ounce is a little bit heavier and a little bit more expensive to ship uh, than the 11 ounce. So when you push a listing over, it is going to use the 15 ounce uh, shipping weights and shipping policies. So that's something you wanna keep in mind that even when you're selling the 11 ounce mug, if you have the 15 ounce on the same listing, they're gonna be charged the price of the 15 ounce uh, shipping price. So you may want to adjust your retail prices accordingly uh, to make up for that difference or change your shipping prices. As always, if you guys have any questions, feel free to reach out to us at support at iconecom.com. Have a nice day.